So I really, really, really didn't want to make another video on Trisha Paytas right now because she's just going through a lot with the recent passing of her uncle. But she really had to fucking try me with the new videos she just posted today. These videos are titled Dissociate DID, Please Stop Bullying Us, and I'm Actually Really Not Okay. And these videos just got me mad, like, I'm literally fuming right now. In the first video, she's just talking like an innocent five-year-old little girl and referring to herself as we and us, which literally fucking pisses me off so much. And clearly, I'm not the only one mad, which can be seen by the like-to-dislike ratio. She says, we're all living together and we don't get along in our system and people judge us. They just blame the internet for the entirety of the video and say that they feel ganged up on and all the videos people are making fun of them are not helping. Whoops, sorry Trish, T, Tyrone, Tyson, and whoever the fuck else lives inside you. She says, we don't know how their system operates just because it operates differently than ours. Oh, bitch, yes, we do operate differently because we're not fucking insane. Apparently, all of them are in a constant state of fear and sadness and it just gets worse and worse as they age. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm gonna stop referring to her as them. She speaks to Dissociate DID saying that they've always wanted to be like her. At some point, she tries to cover her face to cover her tears, but there aren't f***ing any tears. Then she says the one thing that f***ing triggers me the most. She says we're just saying our truths. And I'm losing it. You guys know how I feel about her saying my truth as an excuse to literally lie. Then it cuts to her with a different identity, I guess? Thankfully, she stops talking in that f***ing scary childish voice and speaks like Trisha again. She says she thinks everyone, including Dissociate DID, is trying to use her for views as she's made three videos on this, which is really bold of her considering the fact that she's literally faking a mental disorder for views. It's not about her, it's about getting views. She keeps putting my name in the title. Trisha, if you're so f***ing adamant about having DID, why don't you just f***ing go see a doctor about it so you can stop saying you're self-diagnosed? Then you wouldn't have to make these dumb proof videos trying to explain yourself and you'll shut all of us who don't believe you up. Also, this is completely unrelated, but I just can't take her seriously with those nails. Like, what the actual f how does one function with those? She keeps referring to herself as a system and says my system has shut down completely. But shut the fuck up, you're causing my system to shut down at this point. She still tries to defend herself and says she has no control over her switches, they're very scary, and she blacks out when she has them. The only reason why she decided to share her having DID now is because of Anthony Padilla's video because she was like, you know what, I have that too. But to be honest, a lot of people have been saying that her identities are awfully similar to her show called United States of Tara. And what pisses me off is that she keeps saying that everyone who's been watching her knows that she's always struggled with mental health issues as some sort of proof for having DID. Trisha, there's no question of whether or not you have mental health issues. No one is denying that you have mental health issues. You clearly do have something, but DID is not it. Now, I'm not here to diagnose anyone because I'm clearly in no place to be doing so, but maybe you can look more into, I don't know, borderline personality disorder or narcissistic personality disorder instead. I don't know, just the thought. And of course, she blames her lack of ability to be in a relationship or keep friendships on her DID. Like, of course she does. I'm so f***ing dumb with this victim mentality too. She keeps blaming viewers for not believing her and saying that we cause so much more damage. Does she not realize how much damage she's done, especially to the people who actually have DID? How about to the transgender community? How about to the black community? And how about to the chicken nugget community? And sometimes she forgets that she's faking to have DID, so she accidentally says I again, but then remembers to say we like a minute later. Okay, now moving on to the second video she posted, like literally minutes after the first one, entitled, I'm actually really not okay. Now, in this video, she mostly just repeats a lot of the same stuff in her first video. Like, I really don't understand why she felt the need to post this one. 
she literally could have just extended her first video by like two minutes because that's how much more information you would be getting from this whole ass 21 minute video. She says she only made one comment on Anthony and he made multiple videos on her. Trisha, I wouldn't call you screaming at him and swearing at him and calling him a dumb f***ing prick for 7 minutes straight just one comment but go off. I don't know why she thinks that Anthony and his girlfriend were mocking her for having DID, like that literally never happened. And last time I checked, in fact, she was the one mocking people who have DID in two videos now, so I don't know. She repeats the fact that there is something seriously wrong with her and that she has suffered serious trauma as a child, which again, literally no one is denying. Part of me thinks that she genuinely believes she has DID and is just seriously ill-informed about the disorder. But then I think about the videos she made, acting like she's switching between altars, and I'm like, if she actually did feel this way, there would be absolutely no way she would mock people with DID like that. So, sue me for having a hard time believing you, Trisha. And the funniest part of all is that she says that no one believes her because she used to troll five years ago. Five years ago. <laughs> Trisha, you've been trolling throughout the past five years. At least if you want to lie about it, maybe try deleting the hundreds and hundreds of trolling videos you've made in the past five years alone. So don't just fucking pull random numbers out of your ass and expect people to believe you. And I'm not gonna lie, but I'm actually kind of surprised this girl didn't make it as an actress in Hollywood. Like there are definitely parts of this video where I actually believe her. And I don't know, maybe I'm just too gullible. She also makes the same argument she made back when she came out as transgender. She says she wouldn't want future employers, friends, and love interests to see this if she was just trolling. But let's be honest here, I think Trisha has already closed doors for employers, relationships, and friends a long time ago. The one thing that I will say is that people need to stop telling her that she needs to die. I haven't personally seen any comments like that, but she says she's been seeing a lot of them, so like, please don't do that. And she cries some more, and guys, she says that she will never be talking about this again, so let's see if we can hold her accountable for that. Then she talks about how she lost her uncle this week, which, I mean, I feel really bad about because apparently he was one of the few family members she had that understood her and watched her videos and always supported her, so rest in peace, Uncle Joe. I feel like Trisha truly needs to take some time off of this trolling crap to mourn her loss. And as much as I fucking hate Trisha, it is truly disgusting that people would give her hate on her Instagram posts about losing her uncle. Going back to the DID thing, she says the worst switch she's had was last year with Jason. She said she remembers being someone that wasn't her. She was banging on his door and jumping in his pool at 2am when he told her to go away. Again, I'm in no place to be diagnosing no one, but this certainly sounds like some other disorder or even just anger issues maybe? And the rest of the video is just her really repeating herself and trying to justify her actions so I won't bore you guys with that. And this video didn't have a better like to dislike ratio either. Here's some stuff that people had to say about this video. Camgirl03 says, Does she realize that if she's gonna continue pretending, she's gonna have to pretend for the rest of her YouTube career? Like, it's not a passing disorder that resolves or goes away after a month or two. Is she willing to commit for that long? Catherine says, Go get diagnosed by a professional, then you can tell us you told us so. Until then, this just feels like the boy who cried wolf, but more manipulative. If this is real, I'm sure your viewers would support you. But you can't expect us to take your word for it given your usual patterns. Jamie says, if you're not faking it, why did you make a thumbnail of you cross-eyed? And Ali says, there is something wrong with you, but it's not DID. And like you said in one of your previous videos, if you can't stand the heat, then get off the internet. Alright guys, so that is it for today's video. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every single week. 
All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.